so today we are going to start with our new topic that is but before we start you just see what is this yes these are the rocks yes or no so we are going to start with the lesson number 5 from your science book that is rocks and mineral which topic rocks and mineral okay so have you seen the rocks where do you see the rocks yes we see the rocks everywhere on the mountain on the ground in the valley also under the sea yes or no yes we can see the rocks everywhere our earth is made up of soil and the rocks are you getting and rocks have the minerals some rocks have one mineral or uh, and some rocks have many mineral within them are you getting so how the rocks are formed what is the how is the formation of the rocks can you guess so in today's video we are going to learn the types of rock and how the rocks are formed the rocks are mainly classified into three types the rocks are mainly classified into three types that is igneous sedimentary and metamorphic the rocks are classified into the three types that is igneous sedimentary and metamorphic we are going to learn this rock one by one in detail the first rock we are going to discuss about the igneous rock how the igneous rocks are formed we are going to learn so igneous rock now see the our earth our the center of our earth is made up of hot molten rock the center of our earth is made up of hot molten rock called as magma that is called as a magma and when the volcano erupt this magma flows down this magma flows down on the surface of the earth that is called as a lava that is called as a lava are you getting the magma flows down on on the surface of the earth that is called as a lava and when the lava cools down and solidify it forms the rock that is called as a igneous rock the rock which is formed that is called as a igneous rock this is how the igneous rock is form are you getting this once again i will repeat the procedure see our earth is made up of the center of the earth is made up of hot molten rock and when the volcano erupt when the volcano erupt uh, the magma flows on the surface of the earth that is called as a lava and when the lava cools down and when it solidifies that is called uh, that is how the igneous rock is formed are you getting this this is how the formation of the igneous rock you can see the diagram in your science book then now the igneous rocks are also classified into four main type that is basalt granite pumice and obsidian these are the four types of the igneous rocks are you getting so we will study them how these four types of the rocks are formed that we are going to study and what are the uses of this rock are you getting so the first type of the igneous rock is basalt where how the basalt is formed it is a igneous rock rock formed by the rapid cooling of the lava it is formed by the rapid cooling of the lava on the earth surface the rock which is formed that is called as a basalt and it ha it is very dark and dense and it has a very sharp edges it has a very sharp edges this rock is also called as a scurvy this rock is also called as a scurvy are you getting this 
Then the next type of the rock is granite. This rock is very well known to you, granite. Now you we use this granite. You might have heard in your day to day life also the word granite. This rock is formed by the cooling of the magma. This rock is formed by the cooling of the magma. So that type of the rock which is formed that is called as a granite and granite has a three minerals in it granite has three minerals that is first is mica second is quartz and third is feldspar granite contains the three granite rock contains a three mineral that is mica quartz and feldspar the granite is used to uh, for flooring purpose the, we use the granite for the flooring purpose there are three colors we found in granite that is black pink and white are you getting granite we get the granite rock we get in a three color that is uh, black white and pink and in granite it it contains the three mineral that is mica quartz and feldspar then the next type of the rock is pumice the next type of the rock is pumice now pumice it is a rock it is little bit gray cream color and how it is formed it is a quick cooling of the faulty lava this rock is formed by the quick cooling of the faulty lava now if you will see the few mines you can see the number of holes on this rock why there are the number of holes on this rock because while cooling the air trapped in that because while cooling when it's cool the air is trapped in that so we can see the number of holes on the pumines now what is the use of this stone what is the use of this pumines now pumines stone it is used in olden days there was a uh, for um, for removing the dead skin for removing the dead skin from the body they use this stone in olden days there was no brush to clean the body so they use the pumines stone to clean the dead skin from the body even the dentist today the dentist use this pumines powder to clean the to clean the teeth to clean the teeth they use this pumines powder are you getting this then the next type of the rock is obsidian this this rock is a quick cooling of lava how it is how this rock is formed by the quick cooling of lava are you getting and it looks like a glass and it is a dark it is it is a black and dark in color it is black and dark in color as the ages if you will look for the obsidian rock you can see they there are the sharp edges why this so as it has a sharp edge edges we use this rock for cutting and making the jewelry we use this rock for cutting and making the jewelry so we in today's video we have gone through the igneous rock in the next video we will discuss about the next type of the rock in a second i will just recall all the points what we have discussed what is the rocks where do we found the rocks then we have discussed the three types of the rock igneous sedimentary and metamorphic in today's video we have just discussed about the igneous rock and how the rocks uh, how the igneous rock is form then we have discussed about the types of igneous rocks there are the mainly four types of igneous rock basalt granite pumice and obsidian and what are the uses of it so today's work students it will be that you have to read the lesson thoroughly and write the uses of this the types of rocks in your science notebook thank you